Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we're going to be making a project that I used to make all the time when I was a kid. It is the modular cube. Yes, absolutely love these. They're actually surprisingly easy once you get the, the gist of what you're doing. Um, yeah, and of course, yes, it will take six sheets of square paper, all of course the same size, and you can use different colors. It could all be the same color, two-toned, what have you, and you can get schmancy with your paper choices and create something really quite beautiful. Now, an idea that I had is if you want to make a cat toy, put a bell inside of this before finishing it up and uh, keep your little kitty cat occupied. <laughs> Alrighty, so that being said, let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm going to be making one of the segments. You need six of these, one for each side, and they all sort of fit together like a puzzle. So with your colored side facing down, we're going to get started. So first off, Fold your sheet of paper in half to make a rectangle. Increase. And then unfold. And we're going to fold the top and the bottom to that center line. And you don't have to unfold this, but I like to see the crease better. So I'm going to fold the bottom to that center crease again. Okay, and then fold that back down. And then flip your paper over. Now, there are two ways of going about this next step. Now, you could take this right side and fold it up, or you could take the right side and fold it down, and then the opposite on this side. As long as you're keeping consistent with which side is up and which side is down, you're fine. So me, personally, I always like to have the, the right side going up. So this edge here to this edge here, And then this little triangle fold along this crease up. Now this little bit here, this little white bit showing, do not worry about that because it's going to be hidden on the inside of the cube anyway, so do not worry about that. So then what I like to do is I like to turn my piece and then do the same thing this side along this side. And then the corner up again. There we go. So we end up with a piece like this. Now, like I said, you could, instead of the corner going up, you could have this, you know, going in the opposite way, uh, you know, just as long as it looks like this, whether it's oriented like this or oriented the other way, either way is totally fine. So from here, I'm going to fold this triangle in half. So it's this edge along this edge. So folding it up. Okay. 
and then I like to turn my work and then do the same thing on this side. Okie dokie. And believe it or not, we are finished with one of the segments. So your piece should look something like this. Now it doesn't look like much, but this creates one side of the cube as well as these two flaps that are going to fit into other sides of the cube as well. And I already went ahead and made up my additional five segments. Now that's why it's called a modular piece. Um, because all of these individual pieces, they all fit together to create the whole piece. And I got a nice rainbow of colors going on here. And of course, you know, you can use, like I said, you know, all the same color, different colors, really, whatever floats your boat. So now we get the fun part of fitting all of these together. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so once you have all six of your segments finished, I'm going to start with two of them. And so you'll see that you have an opening here and an opening here, and that is where we're going to insert our tabs. And like I said, it is sort of like fitting a puzzle together. So taking one of your tabs and insert it into the slot. Okay, so now we've got two sides, but of course we have to attach the other sides as well. So grab another one, and then you can do this really in any order that you like. It's totally arbitrary. So then take another, and then because we went into this slot, we're gonna go into the opposing slot and that is one finished side. So now we have an empty side here and an empty side here, and we've got all sorts of flaps going on. It can seem a little bit daunting. Just be patient and don't forget to breathe. Breathing is good. And what I like to do is I like to anchor this side and this side with another side going across. So let's grab another one here. Let's grab the yellow. And you can have a lot of fun choosing different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the blue into the yellow here. So now the blue has another anchor point and then stick the yellow into the purple and then the yellow into the orange. So now we've got two, well, almost two sides completely done. Okay, and then, you know, let's, because we just did the yellow on this side. So let's anchor the other side. So let's get the green. So Stick the green into the orange. Whoa, oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Stick the green into the orange. And then anchor the blue into the green. And then the green into the purple. We only have one more to go. And you can sort of tweak this as you go and clean up the, uh, the joins, the corner joins. So we've got the blue side done, the orange side done, purple. So we've got this one left. So I find it helps if you sort of coax it open a little bit more. And at this point, this is when you would add something inside, maybe a secret message or a stash of cash or a bell for your cat, you know, really whatever, you know. It's not the kind of project that you want to open and close repeatedly. Um, 
but uh, I would say it is definitely more of a puzzle box, if you will. So then going to finish this up by sticking the pink into the green. And then going to go over the top, making sure not to interfere with the orange and the purple. And going to stick the pink into the yellow. Trying to get my orange out of the way. Okay, so now at this point, we just have the, the two top flaps left. So I'm going to scoot and finagle. So sticking the purple into the pink and the orange into the pink. Okay, one more to go. And ta-da, success. And then, of course, like I said, you can sort of finagle the corner joins, make sure that everything looks nice and crisp. And also, you know, if you want to, uh, you could string a couple of these up at one of the points, make a really interesting mobile. Definitely, you know, they're a lot of fun. And uh, I brings back memories, let me tell you. I used to make so many of these when I was younger. And uh, I, I guess that says a lot about me, I don't know. Um, so, a modular origami cube. Mm, love it. So listen, everybody. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And there will be, of course, more to come. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, animals or boxes or what have you, I definitely would like to do more of these. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. And uh, yeah, so listen, everybody. Until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay folding, stay caffeinated, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.